Hello everyone, welcome to the Goddess Tech channel, where if you don't have a tech, now you do. Uh, today we're going to go over part 2 of tips and tricks on how to free up space on your Windows 10 PC. Uh, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, if you right click here in the, on the window pane, you're going to right click to open up the file explorer. Okay, and I'm just going to navigate to the desktop. For this example and let's right click again on file explorer to open up two windows and i'm going to navigate to my external drive um, now quickly how we know that this is an external drive if i right click on it i can eject it and that's going to close the window once it's ejected and you'll hear, hear a ding once you pull out the drive. Now when I insert it back, you hear the windows ding and the drive should automatically pop back up. Another way you can check is to go down here to this arrow and if you go to the USB icon, it's asking you if you want to eject um, media. You right click on it and you can see I have two USB connections here and this is my USB D drive. So that's the external drive that we're working with right now. Um, so let's start out by drag and the drag and drop method. If you click on the file that you're wishing to move, you can click on it and drag it over to the destination drive. Um, that's one way of, of copying the file. As you can see, we have it in both destinations. Another way we can copy a file is right clicking, go to copy, right click in the white space of the destination drive, go to paste. Another way we can copy is to use the, the copy action button up here and then use the paste action button in your destination drive. Now, as you can see, when a window is active, it turns, the, the font turns black. So right now this external drive is active and the desktop is not active. So let's go back to our local C drive, the desktop. Um, lastly, we can select, use the copy to option we don't see our USB drive on this list, so we have to choose the destination and tell it where to go. So we just scroll down until we find the USB D drive and go to copy. And now it's there. So as you notice in all those examples, we have the file in two destinations. So in order to completely remove it from your origin destination, which is the desktop we're trying to free up space on, you have to right click and delete here, or you right click and delete from the menu and once you delete it from the menu make sure that you go to your recycle bin here right click and empty recycle bin and that will completely free up that the space of that file on your computer um, next we're going to go over how to move the file completely so moving means that you don't have to worry about going back to, the, to delete the file. So we can move it by clicking on it, right click, cut, click on the white space, right click, paste, and that moves it from one destination to the next. Now if we want to move it back, here's another way to, to cut and paste. You can click, use the cut, the scissor cut, the scissors up top here cut and then go to the destination drive and do paste. Um, thirdly, we can do right click. I think I did that already. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> thirdly, we can do um, move to up top here, choose the location and we're going to choose our USB drive. And as you can see, in those examples, it completely removes the file from one destination to the next. And that is how you free up space on your laptop.
or your PC. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to this channel so you can always be up to date on the latest advice from Gata Tech. And don't forget to write in the comments if you would like to see more videos on this topic or other topics. All my contact information can be found in the description below and my calendar is now posted if you would like to make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thanks for watching.